and Happy New Year. This is the first day of 2019 and we are going straight into PowerShell development. To be honest, today discussion is not going to be purely PowerShell. Uh, I was thinking for a long time why we all love PowerShell. The reality is that you really don't need to be expert in writing code like nerdy style uh, and call yourself a PowerShell developer. There are so many samples online, almost whatever you want to do, there's a PowerShell to just look it up, make a few changes and just combine a couple of ready-made PowerShell scripts. Go to GitHub. There are tons of PowerShell scripts. Go to any blog, any blog. You will find almost everything you want. But today I want to take it to the next level. So I want to see how you can use the existing PowerShell utilize Microsoft Word, mail merge, and do a little bit of miracles that lots of people don't know. It's mainly a trick that probably makes you better PowerShell developer. Okay, now let's assume I got this list from my client. They gave me a list of username, interests, hire date, cell number, and the job title. And each one of the usernames is actually the email address the work email address for that user and I'm asked to import all these fields to SharePoint Online user profile service. The first thing that I need to do, I need to get the actual field names for the interest, hire date, cell number and job title in SharePoint profile that I've already done that. This is not the topic of this discussion. I am actually hiding it here. So the username is username but interest the actual field name in profile service is SPS interests, hire date is SPS hire date, cell number is actually cell phone, and job title is SPS job title. So I really don't need the first row anymore. And I just delete it. I'm good to go. I just save this. Next step, I need to find a PowerShell that actually reads the user profile properties, goes to SharePoint Online, and updates that. I went online and within a couple of minutes I could find this lovely website that contains all the scripts that I need. So SharePoint Online update user profile using PowerShell. If I just scroll down uh, it looks good. So basically uh, this blogger has created a PowerShell function to update the profile properties. So I just open the Windows PowerShell ISE, I create a new file, and I get to work. I just get the header of the script, copy and paste it here. I really don't think I need this line. Then I go to the PowerShell script, with my basic knowledge of PowerShell, I just need the credentials, great. Then creating a context and execute query and we're good. Now let me just paste the rest of the function here. I come back here. I think it's a good idea to replace this one with nothing. Okay. This is all my code. I get the credential. I have the admin center URL that I will replace it. So it's going to be, for example, abc admin dot sharepoint dot com, whatever the host name is, it doesn't really matter. So this is the actual line that updates the user property. So if I go to my Excel sheet, there are one, two, three, four fields that I need to update in my SharePoint PowerShell. So I need so I need to repeat this line four times. One, two, three, four. And for every single one of them, I need to put a property name here. Property name, another property name, another property name. So let's get back here, SPS interest, I put it here, uh, 
The other one is SPS hire date. The other one is cell phone. And the last field is SPS job title. Okay. And for every single one of them, for the login name, I need to put something from my Excel sheet. Okay. I replace this one too. And finally, the value is whatever that I need to bring from there again in double quote. Okay. And it goes for every single property. All right, so far so good. So typically I need to run this section for every single one of the records in here. Now let's get to work. I save this after I made the changes and now we go to Microsoft Word. I simply go to Microsoft Word. I get to the code, copy this piece and paste it inside Microsoft Word. So this is going to be my code. Now, Microsoft Word has a feature called Mail Merge. Mail Merge is mainly used to get an Excel sheet like this that contains email address, name, and a couple of properties. So basically, you will have a template for the email. You can merge these values into your email and uh, your Outlook will automatically pick it up and send it one by one to every single one of these recipients. It has been also used to create mail labels or things like that or a directory of the users based on a template and the content from an Excel sheet or from a CSV file. Now, we are going to do exactly the same thing. Imagine this script is one mail label and I just want to read the values from the Excel sheet and create one label for every single user. So let's see how it works. I go to mailings and I start mail merge. Mail merge can be letter, mail message, envelope. For this one, I created directory of this script. Then I go to recipient. And I already have an existing list. I just go to that location and you will find the user profile info. I open it. Now it prompts me that we have two sheets. If I go back to my Excel sheet, you see it's on sheet one. So I go back here and I pick sheet one and first row of data contains column headers, which is exactly what I have here. So the first column is the data label. I go back to my Word and I click OK. Now I can go here and I can insert fields, which is username, again username, again username, and the last one, again username. And for the last piece, for this one I need SPS interest, I get the value from SPS interest for the higher date, I get the higher date for cell phone, I get cell phone, and for the job title, I get job title. I guess we're good to go. So all I need to do now is I say finish merge and edit individual document because there is just one directory that I'm producing it's one single individual document. And if I click on it and I say, show me all the merge result, I click OK, and this is what is produced. So I have one label for every record with the values that they are coming from the Excel sheet. I guess I don't need to explain more. So Control A, copy everything, bring it back here and paste it here. Just click on save and run it under SharePoint Management Shell. That was all about it. 
Thank you for watching and I wish you a wonderful new year.